हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू वांट टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट वीडियोस ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच आई एम अपलोडिंग देन यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन और यू कैन वॉच थ्रू दी आई टैब टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल एंड हाउ डू वी फाइंड द पी आई फॉर एक्स साइन एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर साइन एक्स एक्स कॉस एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर कॉस एक्स आई विल डिस्कस दिस विथ यू नाउ लुक हियर वेन एवर वी आर गिवन अ क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस डी स्क्वायर माइनस टू डी प्लस वन इंटू एक्स साइन एक्स और इफ इट इज एक्स कॉस एक्स इन प्लेस ऑफ साइन एक्स सो वी कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेरी इजिली हियर वी हैव दिस फॉर्मूला एंड देर इज अनदर फॉर्मूला विच वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस फॉर्मूला it is like suppose you shift this term fd to the denominator then we can also write this formula like x minus f dash d and it is divided by fd into vx upon fd this is also a formula we have i will explain this question to make you understand that how we will solve this let's say we have a question we will find the cf so m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 we know that the value of m will be 1 1 here right so it's cf that we will get it will be c1 plus c2x e to the power x now we will find the pi what we will do x sin x divided by this will give us d square minus 2d plus 1 right now we know that if we have x we x divided by fd here then what we will do we will apply the formula here which is fd sorry f dash d upon fd multiplied by vx upon fd this is its formula and we will apply this formula here clear so what we are getting this is x we will write it as x minus f dash d we will find its derivative this will be 2d minus 2 divided by this will be d square minus 2d and plus 1 this will be multiplied by sin x upon d square minus 2d plus 1 right we will solve this and note that we will place minus 1 instead of d square right so we will get this as x and we will take minus 2 common here d minus 1 by d minus 1 whole square into sin x put minus 1 for d square we know this minus 1 cancels out with 1 and d minus 1 will cancel out with d minus 1 this will become x minus 2 divided by d minus 1 take this 1 by 2 in start of expression and 1 by d integration of sin x upon d and its integration becomes minus cos x right we know minus minus becomes plus if we multiply cos x inside it will be x cos x minus 2 so we will get cos x upon d minus 1 we will rationalize this so we will multiply the numerator and denominator by d plus 1 and then we will get the value so what will be the value of pi here what will we get the value of its pi y is equal to it will be 1 upon 2 into x cos x and minus 2 d plus 1 cos x and it will be d square minus 1 in denominator right and wherever it is d square we will again put there minus 1 so 1 by 2 this will be x cos x minus 2 d plus 1 into cos x this minus 1 and minus 1 will become minus 2 right and this minus 2 and minus 2 will cancel out and now this will become 1 upon 2 x cos x plus it will be d cos x on multiplying cos x with inner terms and plus cos x what is the differentiation of cos x it is minus sin x now it will be x cos x minus sin x plus cos x we get this value and what is the final answer we get it will be cf plus pi and in this way these types of given questions can be solved now let's take a look at next given question this question is also a good one let me tell you you can apply the previous concept also and there's one more concept if you want you can apply the concept of real and imaginary parts i will explain it its cf will be m square minus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 you can see the value of m we get is 1 1 so its cf will be y is equal to c1 plus c2x e to the power x now its pi will be y is equal to x e to the power x sin x this will come in denominator so we can write this as d minus 1 whole square and now we will take e to the power x outside when you take e to the power x outside what will we get in place of d we'll get d plus 1 so it will be d plus 1 minus 1 whole square right on simplifying it will be e to the power x x sin x divided by d square if you want to you can apply the old concept as well you can apply the old formula that i just explained e to the power x and here x minus f dash d we know that this will become 2d 
upon d square into this will be sin x upon d square. You can write it like this. And now what we will do? Here we have sin x upon d square, right? So you know that it means we will solve it by squaring the angle and subtract it. So what we will get? y is equal to e to the power x. This will become x minus 2 upon d, right? Now if we will put minus 1 in place of d square, it will be sin upon minus 1. Wait, let me erase it and rewrite this here. Now take minus 1 to the front. What will we get? y is equal to minus e to the power x and multiply this sin x. It will be x sin x minus 2 sin x upon d. What does this 1 by d means? It is integration. This will be minus e to the power x into x sin x and 1 by d of integration. The integration of sin x is minus cos x. It will be 2. And it will become cos x. The final answer we get is cf plus pi. In this way, very easily you can solve these type of questions. Now students, suppose if instead of x, we get x square or x cube. Then to solve such type of questions, we have to use a concept. And when we get cos or sin in any question, then we write this in the form of e to the power iota ax. e power iota ax, what is the value of e to the power iota ax? It is cos ax plus iota sin ax. We know that this cos ax here, it is the real part of e to the power of iota ax. And what is the sign of ax? Students, it is the imaginary part of e to the power of iota ax. Clear? Hence, when we get a question like this, for instance, we get cos, then we just have to write the real part of e to the power of iota ax, right? And if sign is given, then it will become the imaginary part of this function. I will explain with an example so that you will understand the concept. Let's say it is given d square plus 1y equals x square sine 2x. Clear? First, we will find its cf. It will be m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, m will be equal to plus or minus iota. So, students, what we will get as the cf here? This will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Let's talk about the particular integral. This entire term will go below. So, it will become x square sin. 2x divided by d square plus 1. And I told you, when we are getting sine, then we need to take the imaginary part, right? If sine is given, we will take the imaginary part. And when cos is given, we take the real part. Now we will write, take imaginary part of. Here this x square will remain as it is. And 2 iota x in power and divided by d square plus 1. Let me tell you that I have uploaded a video explaining about x square e power, right? We will take out 2 iota x common, then pi of y is equal to what we will do here. We will take the imaginary part of e power 2 iota x which I will take outside and it will be x square. Upon this will be d plus 2 iota square plus 1. Is it clear? In this way we can do it. Now we will simplify it. The imaginary part of e to the power 2 iota x, right? We will simplify this. And then what we will get? We will get d square plus 4 iota d, right? This will give us 4 iota d here. And 4 iota square will become minus 4 and plus 1, right? This will be the value we get. The value of 4 iota square will be minus 4, right? Let's simplify this. Then we'll write the imaginary part as it is. e power of 2 iota x and then it will be minus 3. Because minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3, then we will take it common. So when we take out minus 3 common, this will give us 1 minus. And it will become d square plus 4 iota d upon 3 into x square. And we will get the inverse upon going above. We know here we will do its binomial expansion. We know it will be the particular integral of y is equal to. We will get imaginary part of e to the power iota. Sorry, it is 2 iota x upon minus 3, right? Now what will we do? Minus minus becomes plus. In binomial expansion, we will obtain the value as d square plus 4 iota d by 3 plus whole square of d square plus 4 iota d divided by 3. Therefore, in this way, the terms will continue here. At most, we can find the derivative of x square twice. The terms up to d square are useful, but not the remaining terms. So, y is equal to the imaginary part of this e to the power 2 iota x, which can be written as cos 2x plus iota sin 2x by minus 3. This will give the value of pi and we simplify this. So, it becomes 1 plus. This will be 4 iota d by 3, right? Plus d square by 3. And when we square it, then we get 4 iota square d square by 9. And this term will be minus 4, sorry, 16 d square by 9. I'll write it again. So now, this will become minus 16 d square divided by 9 and whole value multiplied by x square, right? If we simplify this, then y is equal to, this will be as it is here. 
what will we get here cos 2 x plus iota sin 2 x and divided by minus 3 clear what will we do here we will take the lcm first and then 4 iota d by 3 and multiply d square by 3 we will get minus 13 d square divided by 9 multiplied by x square when we will multiply x square so we will get the imaginary part of cos 2 x plus iota sin 2 x upon minus 3 and here x square so we will take its derivative ones it will be 2 x and then this will be plus 8 iota x by 3 and then we will do it twice it will be 2 x 2 here it will become minus 26 by 9 right and now you have to write the imaginary part here therefore what will be the final answer imaginary part is all that is the coefficient of iota so minus 1 by 3 is as it is when cos will be multiplied with this it means by 8 x by 3 right it's cos 2 x we won't get an imaginary part we will multiply both these terms with iota sin 2 x right so this will be x square minus 26 divided by 9 sin 2 x hence we will get this value as the answer here if we have sin 2 x sometimes in exams it's replaced with cos 2 x so what will be the change here it will be nothing just that we will take the real part here here and in the complete solution it will be real part what will be the answer let me use a different color when we get such questions then answer will be minus 1 by 3 now you have to write the real part we will get the real part when cos 2 x is multiplied by these two when cos is multiplied by both of these what will we get x square minus 26 by 9 into cos 2 x and this will multiply with this it will be iota square minus 1 we will get minus 8 x by 3 sin 2 x here in this case we have the answer method is same only the last part will change and here instead of writing imaginary you have to write real rest will be same now you have to solve this question d square plus 2 d plus 1 y equals x cos x you have to tell me its answer how much time did it take you to solve this question and how are you liking my videos please comment and let me know and you can find my complete differential equations playlist 2.0 from here and my previous differential equations playlist in which i've explained it on the board you can watch it I've uploaded many good videos on Gate CSIR Net IIT Jam on my new channel. You can watch also the general aptitude videos from here. You can follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much. Like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Please share the answer. Thank you all.